Step 1. Track your footage in After Effects. Import your footage. Create a new composition from your footage. On the right side, under Effects and Presets, search for 3D Camera Tracker. Add it into the composition. Under Advanced, ensure detailed analysis is enabled. Give your computer some time to analyze the, the footage. We go to step 2, which is create a plane on the spot you intend to place your 3D models in Blender. So right click and select some of the track tracking points there you go right click and select create solid and camera there you go we have now a plane we have a plane step 3 we export the camera tracking data from after effects so to do that head over to gachoki.com and download the script uh, from step 3. I have already downloaded mine, so it is saved in the computer. For yourself, you can just click on this link. It will be saved on your computer and install it into After Effects as follows. File, Scripts, Install Script File. Select the script, which is uh, the name is Export Composition Data to JSON. Select it, click Select, and you will get a prompt that says one or more scripts files were successfully copied to your Preferences folder. Restart After Effects to add these scripts to the File Script menu. So you click OK, you save your project. In this case, I'll just override one of my files, which is a tracking tutorial. I just save. After that, I just close After Effects. After you restart After Effects, select uh, 3D Tracker Camera and Shift Select Track Solid. With those two selected, you'll go to File scripts and export composition data to JSON. Ensure that time frame and export selected layers only are selected. Click on browse and select, uh, select a place where you are going to save this uh, JSON file in your computer. In my case, I'll save it here. I'll call it uh, camera tracking data and uh, save after saving export in step 4 we are going to import the camera tracking data into blender so go back to the page at uh, gachoki studios and the link is in the description of this video uh, which is going to be on step 4. You just click on this link and uh, you'll be able to download the add-on that uh, lets you import the tracking data into Blender. So once you have downloaded Open Blender, ensure that your scene does not have any cube or lighting uh, or camera. Head over to Edit, Preferences, add-ons, install, and you head over to the location you saved your, you saved your, your add-on. In my case, here it is. So you select it. The name of the file is import comp to blender. So I select it and I install the add-on. Once you install the add-on, you have to activate it and you save preferences. You can close the preferences window. So to import the camera tracking data into Blender, 
you will go to file import and select this option after effects composition data converted go to the location where you saved your camera tracking data i will just uh, select it and uh, hit and click and click on import ae comp the add-on has imported the plane that we created in after effects together with the camera so when you go to the timeline and you play you can see the camera moves that is as it moved in the video next we'll go to step five which will make a few adjustments select your camera go to camera settings select and you go to background images activate background images add image select movie clip and you'll go and open select the footage that you tracked in after effects so you'll select your footage here i've selected mine and i open and when i select the camera and go to click on number zero i'm able to see the clip in the background so i'm going to increase the opacity to make it a little bit clear and play the video now you can see the plane is well tracked so the next step you are going to do is uh, ensure that the frame rate of the footage is the same as in blender in my case my my footage frame rate is 25 frames per second i'll go to the output properties under frame rate i'll change it from 60 frames per second to 25 frames per second now my footage frame rate is the same as blender we'll just add our monkey next to to the plane shift a add mesh monkey and we'll scale it up so to to render susan on top of this clip i'll head over to the compositor uh, right at the top here shift a input render layers the next one that i will add is the the composite and add it to the to the image and the next one that uh, i'm going to add is the alpha overnode shift a i search for alpha alpha overnode this one now will come there and this one goes to the to the output and the next one that i'm going to add is the viewer node shift a which it should be under the output the viewer node and you connect it from the alpha over node so the next thing that we are going to do movie clip we are going to add the movie clip uh, and add it on the image so you'll just go to you'll just click you just click on the icon next to the open and you select your clip there you go when we zoom out a bit now we can see Suzanne is not uh, visible so we just let's let's do a quick render we hit f12 so you can see the background uh, is not visible so what i'm gonna do is switch the nodes uh, the nodes here <clears throat> so the one from the render will go on the bottom and the movie clip will go at the top and now you can see Suzanne is visible on top of that on top of the clip 
so ju that's just a basic concept of how you can uh, render uh, the Suzanne or any other model on top of that clip. You can continue and do the adjustments like uh, adding a shadow catcher which now is going to make uh, make 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 composite make the composite look more realistic that's it for now so if you have any questions uh, please drop them uh, at the comment section and i will tackle them as soon as i can see you next time